Okay, we're live. It's James speaking, TradingSites.io. Uh, I want to show you some stuff about Claude Skills today that I don't think people know and why it is so important that you understand the value of having a library of skills that is for you if you're in the education space. Now, I did a demo earlier about the profitable topic builder that I just created. And if you haven't seen that one before, uh, it's here. This is a skill that I created that people can use if they're a member, a paid member of the trainingsites.io campus. Please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't already, join the free community where you can learn about this, the actual skill bundle. This particular one um, is uh, does have a cost to it. It's $27 right now for this particular skill. The reason I'm talking about it and I want to show you how this one works is because Claude allows you to use different skills in the same individual conversation. And this does something that's really important if you are in the course creation or education space, because it allows you to have consistent outputs in terms of your educational content, irrespective of the topic that you're using. But you've now got a series of skills that you can actually call to do that. And I'm going to show you a demo of how I did this just to see how it works. Um, now, how did I do this? What's involved? Let's go take a look. I did two different examples uh, and I'll pull these ones up for you so that you can see it. So here's the first one. Um, what I did on this one is I just gave it, uh, there's a structure here that you basically have to follow. And the following of this skill is once the skills installed, and if you don't know how, uh, what a skill is or how they're installed, I'll put a link to the first video on this one. Basically it's just dragging and dropping. Well, actually, let me do it right now. If you haven't already, the way to add skills to your paid version of Claude is down in the left-hand corner where your profile is. You're going to go to settings, capabilities, make sure that code execution with file creation is active. And then what you're going to do is just go down and where it says upload skill, you're going to upload a zip file that has the skill. And you can see that it's profitable topic finder is the one that I was working on. That's my skill. That's the zip file that you get when you purchase for $27. And it basically gives your Claude install a specific skill in this case for profitable topic finders. Now I want to show you, there's a couple ones here. I'm not going to just want to, there's pro, profitable topic finder, but I also have student onboarding email creator. I have lesson plan creator. I have a whole bunch of additional ones that I've added in my library, but we're going to go back to the one that I did here, which was use the course topic finder skill to help me validate a course idea about phys, uh, fit, uh, fitness planning for busy professionals. So I had an idea for a course, but I want to make sure that it's something I should spend my time on because remember, most people who are creating courses create the course for themselves not for the people who are either going to pay for the course, finish the course, or have any interest in the course. So that's why I created this topic, a uh, profitable topic finder to make sure that all of those check boxes are checked off and to give you a little bit of a recommendation on, Hey, this is something definitely go in, or maybe you need to change things or stay away. It's not going to work. So I put this in and you'll also notice that the description that's here that I put in, you can have a simple sentence or remember, this is just a regular AI tool. You can put as much context in as you want. Uh, I put some extra one in on this demo, but I'm going to go show you what actually generates. And if you aren't sure that your skill is actually being utilized, it'll always start the conversation here where it says reading the course topic finder skill to understand the validation framework, because I put a framework, I built a proper framework into the skill that we just installed. So it's going to go through and make sure that it follows that skill every time it's called. So it doesn't matter for this topic, for whomever it goes through this process. And that's why it's always consistent when you use the same skill. So I went through and it basically came out with a whole bunch of information about all the important things that are required to make sure that it's profitable. And again, I'll make the link to this available so that you have it, um, but it goes over the personas, um, market demand for it, positioning and validation where it fits in, uh, profit potential, who's going to pay for it, who's competing against, 
um, different levels or ideas for lessons, integration, how it fits into the business, red flags, and then it's got a bottom line recommendation for you. And then also next steps. So there's an example where you can give it any topic that you want for any particular market, play around with it. And remember, if you disagree or you say, well, what about if we did it for this market? Or what about if I made the topic more specific? Every time you want to run this to clarify or make sure that you're creating your content, again, for someone who wants it and is willing to pay for it, and you're not getting overwhelmed with people competing in your space, you can reuse this skill anytime that you want. Now, the real cool thing on this is, and I'll open up another demo just so, so you can see it. I did it in a previous one, um, fitness planning for professionals, and I ended up that I got, in this case, I got the fitness uh, planning validation report. And it's over on the right-hand side here. But this is the really cool part about Claude and why these skills are so impressive. Remember I showed you at the start that I had an onboarding email one, I had a lesson plan, I had the profitable topic finder. These can all be used in sequence and or in the same chat so that the same conversation about a particular course or topic is all in one place. So this isn't the same as a project where you have multiple chats in a project. This is one discussion with multiple skills that are running in sequence. And what I did next, as I said, I had the report and it said at the end, it said, hey, it's a green light, go ahead with it. it gave me a whole bunch of, uh, oh, it's actually showing this one here, pull it up again. Uh, there's a report goes through and it's got the potential, the personas, all the stuff we just did. So the validation part. So what I did is I said, you know what, create a seven lesson outline for a course that targets beginners. So I know that it's busy professionals going, I'm just saying, hey, use it for beginners this case. Now watch what happened here. It says reading the lesson plan creator skill to ensure I follow best practices for educational content. So it's using what I had before and now it's creating the lessons for it. And it goes through and it creates seven lessons, goes through the entire piece based on that actual profitable topic that we created and I agreed about in this same particular chat. And it went through all of them and it actually gives me the actual lesson plan download. Now, just think what happens now is I've got this, I can go take a look at it. I can still chat with Claude and say, hey, I think lesson three should be coming before four or, you know, should we have nine lessons? What about this? Are you missing this? Should we approach this differently? You're the expert. It's your topic. You've verified that in fact, it's something that is valuable that people are going to pay for and want to purchase or at least finish the course and be interested in it. And it's not too competitive. Take a look through this, your expertise and the structure of it. The bottom line is though, I've used another skill that follows a set process with set content. And I now have learning objectives, key content, core teaching, uh, practice activities. This is another skill that I used puts that all together for me. Now here's the best part. If you have a library of skills relating around content for a course, there's more than creating the content. What about the marketing of it? What about the onboarding skills for someone who's purchased? What about writing the lessons? What about scripting the videos? Those are all individual skills that can be called within this particular plan. So this is a standalone course creation skill that allows you as the expert to pull particular skills as needed when you want them, when you're creating your educational content. Now you may create one course, but if you're like me, it's like you like creating courses. And if you've got a set of skills that you are like, and you're happy with, you can always update them if you're not a little bit happy with them. But if you're happy with the structure of them, or the ones that you want, just call the pieces that you need to get the content that you want for the first course, the third course, the fifth course, any course that you want, you now have a consistent output every single time and you're not reinventing the wheel. This saves time, energy, and effort. And in fact, if you have or needing help in creating the content, whether it be a real person or an agent following your instructions that you've created here, you can now have 
consistent output, high value, and you can pump it out as easily and as quickly as you want to spend time actually talking to people or teaching people over and above all of the supplemental content you've created here. So I hope you enjoyed this. Take a look at skills again. I'll put the links to the other videos that we have. And again, like and subscribe to this channel, the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up. Put comments below. But more importantly, go to trainingsites.io forward slash join. My content is there for free for everyone. There's hundreds and hundreds of videos, tutorials, prompts, downloads. There's a whole community library that's available to you. Um, I do have live training classes where we actually implement and work on these things. And as well, I do have a library of skills that if you wanted to purchase them individually or have my course creation library, all of these ones are available to you to use. If you just want to create your own skills, those are videos that are in trainingsites.io. You're free to go and do those. Uh, and in fact, I highly recommend that you get started because my understanding is that these are going to be a standard across all of the different platforms. So my name is James, trainingsites.io. Like and subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll be back again shortly with another great video to help you start, build, and grow your education business.